Hey, it's Deborah with Flipping 50, and I'm here to just share a quick message with you. Those of you who are, you know, we're at home, we're working out, maybe we're still at home and we're choosing to stay at home, and number one, it's super convenient. So I've been a fan of working out and having an option at home for 36 years, since I started on my fitness journey. But the truth is, it's whether it's masking up, not masking, the gym's open, the gym's closed. We need the convenience, right, of being able to work out at home, photobombed by Truman. And so I'm demonstrating a lot of things for you that you can do with no equipment or small pieces of equipment just for kicks just now. I'm in Scottsdale. I just did an errand to Target that I couldn't avoid and I swept through all of the fitness aisles, both of them, the shelves are empty. There are no weights. I think there was one two pound weight. There's not even a pair for it, but there's, there's very little hand weights, kettlebells, um, ankle weights, just not there on the shelves. I struck out all the way around. And I was just doing research, you know, so the status is it may still be hard to get your hands on things, but there are some things you can do with smaller weights, full body workouts. And these are things that won't necessarily go in that I'm focusing on lean muscle tissue. I've got to build because I know I'm losing it and or I'm losing bone density because listen, baby, even if you don't want to lose weight, don't have any weight to lose, if you need to do bone density building work. You need to be working yourself up slowly, progressively, and safely with sane exercises, not crazy fast ones, crazy fancy ones. You need to be doing the basics, but you need to be doing them correctly, and you need to get as heavy as you comfortably can, compensating for any joint issues that you might already have or any special conditions. So if you've got arthritis, you've got to work around that and do what you can within limit. So each of you who are focusing on bone density and or lean muscle and or maybe do want weight loss, all have a slightly different, but yet we've only got so many body parts and they only have so many joint actions. So this is appropriate for everyone. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna give you just a few exercises. Take five minutes and do this. And it can be something that you finish your regular weight workout with, could be a functional workout that you put in between maybe a Monday and a Friday heavier strength training day. Here's how it goes. And this is just a little snip from one of our Flipping 50 membership videos. Okay, here we go. So this one, just body weight, but you're gonna do body weight only and a reach to the side. So what's that look like? You're gonna go over here and I want you to reach down toward your foot I'm gonna do it all over here. So I'm gonna take five that direction. But I want you to focus on getting your weight back into your hip and your glute. So it's reaching out. We're gonna load this glute, not the knee. So you've gotta have your weight back on your heel. Then do one more and then come up and in. So on the other side, weight on the heel and then in. And weight on the heel and come back in. Good, back in and up. Now, you're gonna find, like I just did, one of those legs is more comfortable than the other. And it potentially is your dominant leg, but not always. We have had an injury on that side. Good, we're gonna come back. So five again. And I put this other hand resting on my hip, or I put it behind my back. I wanna get it out of the way, and then come back. So important things here, stand all the way up. Bring it down so your weight's on your heel. Don't go for fancy, go for good, okay? One more time. Nice, let's try it again. Other side. So coming down, weight on the heel, come back up. Weight on the heel, come back up. Now we each have a leg. If we were standing still, straight up tall, and somebody came from behind and pushed us, we would step forward on that leg if we have a choice. This is my leg. It's easier. Other side, let's go for five again. So notice we're gonna work our way up. I want you to do about 20 body weight exercises like this. 
but I'm going to have you alternate doing sets of five so that you can compare and contrast how it feels. Otherwise, on your non-dominant side, what happens is you get super sloppy, and we don't want to do that. We want to train the big ones. That's our goal. And over. Nice job. And then when I find a weak link, here's what I like to do. So I'm going to challenge you to do this as well. Come back to your weak side and give me five more. Notice one thing here. My chest and eyes are going to stay on you, girlfriend. So I'm coming down with a flat back, but I'm not collapsing through my core. So I'm staying long. One more, and we'll call this one a day. Good, and relax. Nice job. Okay, so another one I want to show you, and I'm going to turn to the side here to show this one to you. I'm going to do rear lunges, but what I want you to do is take your hands. You're going to bring your arms, elbows are in, and hands up, and then bring this up. You're going to bring it through to the knee, so we're going to do all one side and up, but you guessed it, we're going to do five at a time, and then we'll go to the other side. Because if you're falling apart on your bad side, the other side, shall we call that, we don't want you to keep going with poor posture. We're going to refresh by letting you have a little break, go to the other side, and then come back, okay? Now, small weights. And if you feel like, whoa, lady, I have uh, balance issues, then you're not going to do that one first with weights, right? You'll go without. So I have to keep a focal point here forward. Otherwise, my balance is going to go wherever my eyes go. So I've got to look straight ahead, and so do you. Now, you can look at the camera, but if I look at the camera, you don't get a good idea of what my form is and yours should be. We're going to do one more and then we're going to switch to the other side. So what is that? Remember it's a curl in and then you drop the arm down. The elbows though are inside all the time. Good hug right here and up and back and come up. Nice job. One more time and then switch. So we're gonna come back again, sets of five. Here we go. So reach, and up one, and two. You really wanna push through that heel. Three, four, and five. On the other side, reach, and come up. Press that heel down. And two, and three, and four, and five. Good, how are we doing? Okay, one more time. Sets of five, that'll give us 15 on each leg. Right through the knee. And two, stand all the way up. Three, four, and five. Other side, pushing through the heel when you come to that standing position. Reach, and one, and two, and three, four, and five. Nice work, okay. Waist can come down. Nice. Now, you've done some lateral work with some good extension and flexion, and then we've done more linear forward and back work, but multitasking, right? So we've got lots of things going on at once. If you play tennis, you play golf, you uh, run, bike, or swim, as I do, we want to rotate. We want to do lateral flexion. We want to load up our hips the way we do when we're doing any of those activities. But we've got to do it in a more functional way. So it does two things. Prepares us for doing the activity better, further down the fairway, hopefully in the middle, then that part's up to you. And 
It also balances the things that we're doing. So imagine golf, for instance. I'm right-handed. If I do that and take a practice swing every time I hit, depending on my score, I could be swinging 200 times on the same side in the same direction, but I'm never balancing my body by coming back the other way. Your strength training program should help you do that to make sure that what you're creating is a balanced body, that you're not reinforcing the imbalances that your passions and your sports and your loves encourage. Okay, so what I wanna know is what do you love? What are your activities? And let me help you with what it is that you need in order to help your balance.